Hey, how's it going? It's a bipolar Slayer Exciter. I got this here connected to the base of the transistor. It's just in close proximity to this this side. It doesn't work if I put it over here. Now, of course, sometimes you have to reverse these and get it going, whatever. Not this one, but when you're making one, you'll figure that out. This one is skinny fluorescent tubes out of a uh, flat screen TV. Here's my Slayer Cider. I just plug it into the mains. It's got a switch, a uh, 24 volt transformer, and a bridge rectifier. Got a 3 amp fuse. I got another rectifier here from a 24 volt fan. I got a switch to turn the fan on when it gets up to. It's about 90 degrees, uh, the little transistor, it's NPN, standard Slayer Exciter stuff going on there. But this is bipolar, like a bipolar Tesla coil. It has, uh, you know, two ends with the plasma. And uh, this, this little light bulb is a little bit difficult to light up with Slayers takes a little more energy to light these up. This does pretty good. Not bad, huh? That's quite a bit of light. I, I, you could put a couple more, I would imagine. Of course, I got these ultraviolet lights. You could have one. want to get those too bright. <laughs> yeah. I just thought I'd show you the big one. Deeds, you can build you one of these easy. Uh, pretty much can't be destroyed. I haven't messed it up yet. <laughs> I ran this the other day. It's a magnifying transmitter set up with three coils and a huge top load. It, it actually transmitted energy all the way over there um, as far as I could get it away without moving other stuff around the lab. Anyway, I got weird stuff going on here. <laughs> Lots of spark gap things going on and Tesla coils, of course. Anyway, take it easy.